informático óptimo. Good afternoon everyone, today they brought US to the technical service a laptop and a hard drive that was dropped on the floor. The laptop was brought to US because the USB port also failed and sometimes IT didn't read the disk well, since the hard drive was fallen on the floor, IT stopped working forever, and it makes some typical noises when we drop the disk on the floor. And that's IT. Let's repair it. You should know that we do not take responsibility on the channel, okay? The things we do are simply for you to learn and if anyone wants to try it under their responsibility. If you have any problem, we are not responsible at all, well, we have the customer here, we cover the data, let's see, he brings a Fujitsu laptop, an i7 with 12 gig of RAM and an external hard drive, which we have it here. The customer says the disk was fallen on the floor and IT doesn't work. It is very important that you have important photos and files and it says that you have no backup, okay? Also he has photos from when his children were little, and this is the worst thing that can happen to US, the hard drive does not matter because you buy another, but when we lose data and photos, the problem completely changes, let's connect it, perfect, we see that the LED has already lit up there. I don't know if you hear the little clack clack that is the arm, which when you move the reading heads, IS not able to read and makes the clack clack. If we take the hard drive, we will notice a small movement like the disc is really spinning. Okay. So in this case we already know for certain what it is the arm. We are going to repair it in about 5 or 10 minutes, IT won't take any longer, and the repairs we are going to make, work if it is the arm and also on the case that the disc does not rotate, when the engine has been damaged. We are going to use several screwdrivers and a small knife. The disc has been recognized here, let's see if we have it here. And effectively, here it is. Remove hardware safely. We have the disc there, but however, IT doesn't appear to US as a team. Let's see, team. We have our C hard drive and our DVD reader unit. The external hard drive should also appear here. It does not appear at the moment, but will appear. And nothing else, without further delay, we are going to do the work. The first thing we are going to do is going to remove the hard drive from its case to work easier with it. We disconnect it. We are going to use the pocket knife. Be very careful not to grash it and not to make marks, okay? IT has to come out little by little. And it come out perfect. One housing is out. In this case, IT is only anchored with tabs, okay? But each external box is different, there are some that have screws, there are others like in this case that have only tabs and others that have tabs and screws, okay? In each case it is different and you have to remove the disc, let's connect it again. This hard drive is the worst thing that can happen to you, okay? Because the SATA connector is integrated in the hard drive controller same. The ideal would be for the case to have a controller with its SATA port and connect it to a normal hard drive with its own SATA controller. Okay. Well, we still connected it. We are going to repair it exactly the same, whether one or the other. Whatever you have, we are going to repair it the same way, well, 
We already have our hard drive there that does not read and with its clack clack clack. We have already heard on the computer that it has recognized it, okay? And now yes, IT is very important, let's see. I'm going to place the other camera so that it can see well. We have used the knife, the screwdrivers, if we had to disassemble it, we would use the TRX screwdriver, okay? You have to be very careful if you open the hard drive, because the hard drive that has been opened will never be the same again. If you have to open it, you would have to retire data in a hurry and that hard drive will no longer work well again, okay? So if you open it, be very careful. Now what we are going to use are these pliers. IT looks a little rough, but well, IT works well for US and that's what we are going to do. Well, let's see. What we are going to do looks perfect and how it will be recognized on the computer. We use the tonjers. We disconnect it and reconnect it so that it start rotating and being recognized. And now be very careful, okay? We are going to be pressing all over the end of the disc. Have you heard that? Do you hear that? Let's see, wait, we're going to bring it closer so that it sounds good. Now yes or yes. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet done and like it, IT helps us a lot. Well, there it is spinning, IT makes the clack clack, IT is 2 tera, no, IT is 1 and a half tera, they had told me at reception that it was 2 tera. Well, we have the hard drive, very very slowly, okay, until you start to recognize it, we press, there it has been disconnected. There you have heard how the disc stops. Little by little we are tightening all over the edge, have you heard that? Come on, little by little we're pressing all over the edge. Always with the connector on the left side, okay. Do you hear it connecting and disconnecting? Even if you mark the hard drive a little, nothing happens because later we will mount it inside the housing and it will not be appreciated. Okay, later when we're finished, on the other side. Always first with the connector on the left. Good. There it has been disconnected again. Perfect. Very good. And now little by little, we're getting a little more strength. So, that's IT. There. Oh. There has broken a little. Well, nothing happens. Let's see. Yes, the controller has broken there a little. I don't know if you appreciate it well. Yes. We have marked the controller there a little bit, but nothing happens. Let's continue. There's her head. If you notice that it burns a little, nothing happens, IT is because it is electric. Let's tighten a little, okay. There has also broken the controller a little bit. A little bit, yes. Well, in any way I think that in this case, it's not going to be the hard drive, I think the customer was right and it's going to be a computer failure. Let's see, anyway, always tighten a little more just in case. We are not going to fall short. Well, this looks like it's almost almost done. If some piece of the controller come off, don't be worried. In this case I think it was a problem with the hard drive. I mean, not with the hard drive, sorry, with the laptop. Always tap it on the head in case the engine is blocked. So, surely now you will recognize it well. No. Do you see that now the beep is not sounding when we connected it? 
That's because it's not recognizing it well, IT seems like it's going to be a USB problem, yes, IT seems so. Well, let's leave the hard drive connected here, these chips are no longer used to US. And well, let's see, now we are going to use this tool. IT also looks a little rough, but for the USB, IT is the best, a plumber's parrot's pick. Don't be afraid. You have to hold the USB tight, okay? And very slowly, very slowly, very slowly, you have to go turning, to see if the camera sees well, like this. Until I make contact, okay? Until you adjust all the pins well, and little by little, you are making better contact, okay? Come on, that would be good there. Let's try now, see if it connects. Remove the parrot's beak. And surely it will recognize the hard drive now. Well, do you see that the bell has not ringed yet? IT doesn't sound like we have connected it. This may be because it is a problem more internal to the computer. We are not going to change tools, okay? And we are going to use the exactly same parrot beak, okay? You have to give it a few taps just on the part where the USB is. Very slowly, okay? You can also use a small hammer. Okay. That's yes, but I always advise a good parrot beak. Let's see, we try. Do you see that it still has not been heard? You have to give a little harder, okay? You can also try on other USB before continuing with this process, since this process is a little hmm that way. We disconnect, we test again. By the moment we connect it and it sounds good like it connects, IT would already be, okay? You would not have to continue anymore. We try again. Nothing, another little. Let's see if it is. Okay, I have sometimes left the other end of the cable unconnected and obviously it will not recognize the hard drive if it is not connected. It's not going to happen to you too. Come on, let's continue. We disconnect, we reconnect. Well, what happened was me when placing the tool. You have to be very careful, okay? Especially at least since he has all his things there. Let's see if we are going to damage the hard drive and leave him without his things also, okay? Always be very very careful and always try not to leave marks, okay? Because if not the customer may complain to US, and with right. Come on, now yes. Well, IT doesn't sound yet. Now yes. Let's see, now yes. Let's turn off, let's turn on again. Well, come on, let's see if the operating system loads. This is completely normal, okay, let's turn it off and turn it on again. You have to be careful because there is the screen connector, okay? And if you hit it a little harder than normal, then it can come. It's on. Well, anyway let's keep doing what we were doing, okay? There I don't know if you hear it that the fan has on. Anyway, we are going to repair it exactly the same. Don't be afraid. Absolutely nothing happens. Okay. 
Now, since the screen does not turn on well, we are going to give small blows also in the area of the screen, but first you have to hit it in this entire area, which is where it goes. Well, the processor goes more in this area, please here would go the RAM memory and the chipset. There, even if you see that the keyboard bends a little bit, nothing happens. And even if it scratches, oh, the screen now, well, we don't need to hit the screen anymore, okay? The connector is surely well repaired. And in this case perhaps it would be good, if it would be convenient for you to unplug it, okay? Because an electrical device, with what we are going to do to it now, is better unplugged, okay? Come on, there it is. I do not advise you, yes, I do not advise you to disconnect it when the operating system is on because some boot file may be damaged and then it is a business because we would have to format and it is a problem. Well, beats on that part not so much, because I think it would already be repaired there, okay? But for the rest yes. If you don't have a parrot's beak, a small hammer would serve perfectly. Well, we have now have the keyboard more or less repaired, okay? Maybe you'll notice it a little hot, that's because the computer was working, but well, nothing happens, the then we unfold the keyboard and replace the keys. Let's continue with this part, don't lose the B, very important, because there are many words that are written with B dot. Well, you can also remove some small housing, okay? And so we can get better access to the interior. That is. Always keeping the parts well, we are not going to lose any of them, especially the small parts, okay? Well, here we have the Bluetooth module, we are going to touch it a little too. Bluetooth, perfect. Now the trick is to hit everything, okay? Because so, if it has any other type of failure, we are not going to return it to the customer with a few minutiae, it's clear, what we leave, we leave perfect. Well, the battery just left out, be very careful you are not going to lose anything. Well, this looks like it's almost ready. for everything and without fear. Well, the RAM just came out. He had a RAM, shit, he had cheated US, always, let's see, let's see, whenever something comes into the technical service, you have to see what they bring, because for example, the customer had told US that it had 12 gig and this module is 2, I don't think it has a module of 2 and another of 10, would be pretty rare, well. And I think that with this, he will go, being ready, already. Let's connect the keyboard again, you have to be very careful with the keyboard connector, okay? Because if any of these cells is brushed, then it would no longer work, okay? Let's see, here goes the keyboard. It has two little tabs, one on one side and the one on the other, we have to take them out, we put the flex cable on, and we squeeze the two little tabs, first with one finger over and the other, and then both at the same time, very good, and there is the keyboard perfectly fixed. And now the golden proof, what do you believe? What will the hard drive already recognize? I don't believe it, I am completely convinced that yes. IT has worked other times, why wouldn't this one work? Come on, electricity, always always, have a fire extinguisher nearby, okay? And we turn on. So, do you see what I told you? We have lost the power button, H, here it is, let's see, the power button goes here, so the ignition chip is here. We take a small screwdriver. Well, if you press several times and IT doesn't turn on, Maybe the problem was that the motherboard was bad, that's why IT didn't read the hard drive well, okay? There are times when the repair cannot be carried out because the motherboard is damaged, okay? Then there's nothing we can do, there's nothing to do, but okay. I think the motherboard should just be replaced, okay? It can be ordered, to see it you have to remove it. You see the part number. 
¿vale? El número okay. de Marte. And so you buy the board exactly the same one that this computer has and then we can put back all its parts. Its screen, its Bluetooth module, its DVD unit, everything, okay? However, to make sure, I think, wait, I have it connected. Now yes. Well, and this friends, is everything. I hope it has been useful and that you liked it, okay? If so, give like and I'll tell you, any questions or questions, the steps must be followed exactly the same, okay? If you omit any step or change the order, IT most probably will not work, okay? We will leave this for a second video and surely by changing the plate, as soon as we have it here, I will record it again and it will work without any doubt, okay? Blimey, two RAM memories have appeared here. Before there was only one, this is what it's like to work, goodbye guys.